morning. Good morning. It's Christmas. Woo! We made it! We have some uh, peppermint hot chocolates in your stocking. Very exciting. Your favorite. So it got some hot sauce for Christmas. Show the folks at home. It's a Carolina Reaper sauce. And, uh, oh, you're doing your, like, beauty guru. <laughs> yes. Cool. So you can eat a little try. It's supposed to be really hot. It smells hot. Taste test. Oh, that tastes really good. We good? Yeah. Is it hot? <laughs> Is it kicking in now? Yeah, it takes a second there. And... Oh, nobody else is going to like this at all. Oh, no, I already know I'm not going to like it. Oh, yeah, and it <laughs> lingers. <laughs> So these are the cinnamon buns, freshly glazed, fresh out of the oven, everything is ready to go, ready to enjoy on Christmas morning. Sorry, I, uh, I still can't feel my face much. That hot sauce really kicks in and it's, it's bad. Yeah, but uh, cinnamon buns, good. All right, hi guys, good morning and Merry Christmas. I'm just getting ready now. Put some makeup on, I'm getting ready to head to my sister's for Christmas dinner. And I can't wait, so we're gonna take you along, of course, and vlog a bit. Um, I hope you guys had a great Christmas morning and afternoon and evening by the time you see this. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get going. Kelly, we're at her house. We yeah. got the the fire roaring because <laughs> we don't actually have a fireplace. So yeah, you don't have to stoke it or tend to it. It's really easy. It's really you just easy. Turn on your TV. Oh, yeah, you get the the vibes. Ambiance. The ambiance. Yeah. yeah. So how was your Christmas? Oh, it's very good. I got this new shirt. Oh, very nice. My my, I bought it for my husband to give to me for Christmas. That happens sometimes. Yeah. That, that's how I get what I want. <laughs> this is easier sometimes. They don't know where to go. No. No. That was like with the Shane and Jeffrey stuff. Mm -hmm. He wasn't gonna know. He wasn't gonna be fast enough. Did you get it? Yeah. yeah. That's yes. funny. I love that. It's <laughs> always the easiest. Yeah. It would be all gone by the time he got oh, exactly. to it, right? Yeah. So we're just waiting for dinner. It smells very good. Mm -hmm. Should be. And yeah, Panda's here. She just looks like a black ball <laughs> in your <laughs> vlog. Mm -hmm. Panda, hi. Says Panda, there's a lot of dogs here today. Like we've got Luke and Thorian. Luke and Thorian and Panda. <laughs> Panda, all the dogs. Well, no, there's two other dogs. Joy and Rosie. And, Rosie. and there's also two cats here as well. Yes. Okay, well, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. All right, hi guys. It is Christmas day in the nighttime now. Um, I got my comfy clothes on. I was just sitting, relaxing. I wanted to come now and film the end of Vlogmas 2019. We did it, we made it to the end. I had so much fun. I love Vlogmas so much every year. And it was just great to get to spend December with you guys for the fourth year in a row. I've decided that as the new year begins, I'm going to keep vlogging a little bit. <laughs> Definitely not daily vlogging. I have no idea how people do that on a regular basis, but I thought maybe I would do weekly vlogs since you guys really seem to enjoy the vlogs. So maybe every Monday I'll post a vlog. Incorporate that into the paranormal content and the book talks. I feel like that might be a good move for 2020. Anyway, before I put Vlogmas 2019 to bed for the year, 
or forever, I guess. <laughs> um, I wanted to come and just share with you guys a few of the things that I got for Christmas. I got some really sweet gifts from some really thoughtful people and I love seeing what you guys got so maybe you'll enjoy this too. The first thing I want to show you is what I got for my sister um, as you just saw her in the vlog a few minutes ago. Um, this is a little mug because of course she knows how much I love tea and coffee and mugs in general and it says dear sis thanks for being my sister. If I had a different sister, I'd punch her in the face and go find you. <laughs> How cute is that? I love it. I love it. I love it. And uh, it's just very much Kelly. Like I could, I, I could picture Kelly saying something like this. So it's just, it's just perfect. And also in kind of a throwback to the conversation I just had with Kelly, I picked up a couple of pieces from the Shane and Jeffree Star um, collaboration collection from last month last month or the month before um, and I grabbed it for myself for Ed to give to me because he was at work when it launched I knew it would sell out right away so I thought I better get in there and grab something if I wanted I wasn't able to get the palette because it it was just chaos but um, I was able to get the lip balm and that looks look at this packaging it's so sharp looking so it's just a silver bullet it's got the Jeffree Star cosmetics logo there and then Shane Dawson written down there, so cute. And I also grabbed this little um, handbag and it's it's got the little pig face on it. It's a really good size. It's got a chain on there. I don't know how much daily use I will get out of this, but I thought it was just a cute piece to have. Um, and look, look at the little zipper pull here. Like it's just really nice quality. Everything is really well made. And I just, I love Shane so much. I love to have a way to support him. And I just think it's a nice piece to add to the collection. You know, I also got a couple Bath and Body Works candles from my daughter. This one here is the Frozen Lake. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> Um, it's really cute packaging and then she also got me my all-time favorite Bath and Body Works candle and this is the Fresh Cut Lilacs. I've gone through so many of these. These smell like my childhood. Every time I smell them I'm kind of taken back to um, spending time with my grandmother when I was a little girl. She used to cut lilacs and she used to put them in a little cup on her kitchen table and anytime you'd walk into the house, especially through the kitchen door, you would immediately smell the lilac and that just, it just stuck with me and I remember the first time I picked this candle up off of the shelf to smell it, I was like, oh, that's it. That's the smell and I just, I love it so much. Then I got a couple of books from Ed. I also got a journal from him. He gives me a journal every year, which I love, because uh, he knows how much I love to journal. So I don't have that here with me, but it's just a little journal. Then I got a couple of books. The first is actually written by a YouTuber, Melanie Murphy. She's an Irish YouTuber. Um, and she does a lot of interesting content. She does a lot of content, I find, for people who are a little younger than I am. But in the content that I find um, that I relate to, I relate to it a lot, but a lot of it I don't relate to. <laughs> like I said, what I do relate to, I relate to a lot, and I really like her personality and her just, there's a warmth about her that I really like. And anyway, she wrote a book, she wrote a novel called If Only, um, and I got that for Christmas, so there'll be a book talk on this coming up in the next few weeks for sure. And then, I don't know if I've talked much about this show, but there's a show on Amazon Prime called Fleabag. <laughs> and now it's not for everybody, which is why I haven't really talked about it too much. Um, although if I had my time back, I would have done a review of season two because it was so good, but it's raunchy. And if that's not something you're into, definitely avoid it. But <laughs> um, a couple weeks ago, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who's the writer, creator, all of that, of Fleabag, she put out a book, <laughs> which is um, all of the scripts to all 12 of the shows. 
and this is just so lovely. I find her to be such a clever, smart, interesting writer. And so to get to read the the words as she wrote them for the show is just so interesting. And I can't wait to go through that and read it all. I can't wait. Then aside from that, I got some skincare, my stocking, and some other goodies in there and it was just it was just a wonderful Christmas and um you know getting to see family and spend time with family that's that's just everything and when we were driving home from my sisters today I asked Anna as she sat in the back I said did you have a good Christmas and she said I had a great Christmas and it's like well there you go that's all that matters to me so I hope you all had a great Christmas as well and that your families all had a great Christmas and uh, if not I hope that 2020 um, brings brighter days ahead so I'm gonna go we're done this is a wrap it's another vlogmas in the books um, I had so much fun with you and I will see you guys soon this is going up on what Thursday there won't be a video on Friday. There'll be no book talk this week. There's just been no time to read a book. Um, but I'm thinking Monday we'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming. Bye, guys. <laughs>